Raw Hogmere, right, Punch Out Boxing. I'm delighted to be here with Billy the Kid Jackson. Billy, once again, classic performance from you. All action and the last four rounds, just you two stood in front of each other and just traded punches. That's it. So I didn't have much left. I thought I, um, I thought I was down in the cards. I thought I better start pushing this, pushing this on. It hurt him a bit in the eight. It just, uh, he recovered all right. It was just, it awkward, awkward. It just struggled get when he went southpaw. He really struggled getting away from his jab and uh, a bit, a bit of poor uh, preparation on my behalf. Just um, could have been fit. I should have, should have pushed on and pushed the pace a bit more. I think and I uh, would have, would have been able to break him down a bit better, but just left it too late. No, but a hell of a performance anyway. And considering how quick you've moved, plus you've had periods of inactivity. Um, I mean, you stepped up for you were one of the first fighters to actually start stepping up early I think it was in your third or fourth fight uh, fifth fifth fight fifth fight yeah just, I'll be honest with you I just I don't see the point in fighting in a journeyman it doesn't get you nowhere uh, I struggle to train for him and I end up performing worse against a journeyman because I'm lazy whereas you put a threat in front of me I've I, I got to train you got, I got, you got to push on you know what I mean I've I, I got to fight I've got, got to fight ahead of me I know that when journeyman there I mean you can turn up and do four, four to six rounds easy no, no, no camp do you know what I mean so I want that threat in front of me to push myself in training and I can, do you know I mean, I think, oh, I'm thinking all training, I can't lose, I can't lose and just push on. Main thing to gain from this though, you know, you can do the 10 rounds easily, you belong at championship level and super worldweight is red hot, there's no shortage of other prospects yeah, yeah, and contenders. I spar, a lot of them. <laughs> I spar a lot of them. Yeah, no, definitely just, um, I'm going to have a little break, um, hopefully come back in the new year to see how things go, I have a chat with the manager, I have a chat with my old man, um, see what I want to do really wrap my options straight back into uh, sort of title level 10 rounder I mean if, if I get the opportunity to and it's, it's all right then yeah yeah then, then there's no, no reason why not but obviously we've got to work our way back up sure now your nickname is The Kid um, it's a good nickname but at some point I think around the age of 25 <laughs> it's Nearly not going to be uh, I need to um, can I take the liberty of suggesting a new nickname yeah, yeah man feel free Back in the 90s, there was a middleweight called uh, John David Jackson. His nickname was Action Jackson. Action Jackson. I've but heard of the Action Jackson. I actually think that nickname applies to you better. I do like that one. I like the sound of that. Maybe, maybe I'll have to consider it. I'll have to give you credit on that one if it does change. Well, yeah. Um, John David Jackson, he was more of a slickster, so the nickname didn't go. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it's perfect for you. Action. I like the front foot fight style of fighting. I always... I want to be in wars. I enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? If, I don't, if my face don't come out looking like this, I know I ain't been in a fight. <laughs> Me and you both, we love it. The way you fight, absolutely can't wait to see you again. Um, I'll let you go because uh, it's probably, been a long night. March. I'll be looking at maybe maybe late February. We will have a we'll have a see. Just um, see what I want to do, really. All right, Billy. Can't wait to see you again. Have a good rest and uh, yeah. Cheers. Thanks again for a great night. Have a lovely night, boys. I'll see you soon, man.